the Portuguese started building this fort in Gaul in 1588, which was later fortified by the Dutch. Today we are going to explore Gaul Fort. It's our very, very first day here in Gaul. So we're just gonna have a look around and take you on the journey with us. just going for a walk around Gaul Fort and uh, we're just where the lighthouse is right now and check this out if you walk behind the lighthouse there is a massive beach where loads and loads of locals are kind of coming together today um, it's super super popular very crowded actually uh, usually you don't see so many Sri Lankans in uh, one place at the beach usually it's a little bit more scattered around so this seems to be Whoa! <laughs> Got the ball. <laughs> this seems to be the place to be <laughs> if you want to go for a swim and enjoy your day here in Gaul Fort. And look there in the distance, I don't know if the camera is picking up on it, but sort of over there you even have a big Buddhist temple, a big pagoda you can see there. And wow, this is beautiful, really white sand. Wow, so nice here, no? absolutely stunning you can actually see off in the distance uh ruma sala which we were speaking with um nilokshan our good friend and there's a pagoda over there that's very close to jungle beach in unawatuna called ruma sala apparently a very very special place for buddhists but wow guys gaul is absolutely blowing us away right now we've only been here for literally a few hours and we are totally shocked at just how stunning it is it's very very actually i would say almost underrated if you compare it to a lot of other tourist destinations that we've been to so far this place is really cool i didn't even realize that there's such a beautiful beach area and we saw even another one just over there plenty of people out enjoying the sunshine really cool place oh thank you oh good thank you the water is actually crystal clear it's very blue and very beautiful the setting here in the dutch fort of gaul is truly one of a kind actually um, it's actually very very different to a lot of the places that we have explored so far in sri lanka the architecture is one of a kind obviously because of the dutch influence there's also portuguese architectural influence here as well and you can see that in a lot of the buildings and structures around here. Gulf Fort itself, there is plenty of cafes, restaurants, seafood restaurants, plenty of local eat places too where you can get an absolute bargain for some food and that's one of the main reasons why we decided to come down here to Gaul. We came here from Hikadua just last night, so this is our literal first time exploring this area. But we came here to experience some authentic food. We're gonna be spending our New Year's here as well. I know New Year's for Sri Lankans is in April, but we are very excited to be spending our New Year's here in Gaul with some amazing local people and maybe some amazing local food as well. How epic is this, guys? It's a replica of a Dutch 18-pounder cast iron cannon mounted on wooden garrison carriage. Wow. Very, very cool. I would love to see a real one of these. But, um, yeah. Imagine the damage that could be done with one of these bad boys. And this is actually a pretty small cannon in terms of like actual cannon sizes just next to where we were just a second ago on the beach as well we're very excited to be here in gaul we're going to be spending quite a few days just uh, sort of wandering around here and taking everything in wow this tree is really beautiful look at this one wow, wow. We are, um, our accommodation actually at the moment is in Gaul Ford as well and we're going to be spending New Year's here. 
so I cannot wait to see the fireworks over the fort uh, for New Year's because last year we have been in Mexico but it was still kind of at the height of the pandemic so there was not so much going on so I hope this year we are going to be able to celebrate the new year in a big way oh thank you <laughs> everybody here is trying to sell uh, Dutch coins or English coins and they're I have no idea now guys tell me down in the comments if you can if they are actually selling authentic coins it's obviously very hard for us to be able to tell the difference we've had a fair few people coming up to us and trying to do all sorts of stuff with one money exchange guy and um, keep in mind as well if you are visiting Gaul um, there is a lot a lot of pressure from uh, tuk-tuk drivers so every single corner that you go like if you're inside the fort for example you're going to hear the words the famous words wanna tuk tuk and it gets very very annoying after a while but i think we're pretty used to it after hikadua no yeah i feel like hikadua was kind of the height of tuk tuk mania um i feel like gaul is a little bit less it's still a lot but it's a little bit less and um with the coins i'm sure if you snorkel around the area and actually look through the sand and so on i'm sure like 10 20 years back that you would be able to find loads and loads of uh english dutch portuguese and so on coins but um, i think by now probably not anymore this is pretty epic so they have basically an old dutch hospital that they have essentially transformed into a like shopping area where you can go and buy things like gemstones things like souvenirs stuff like that and uh, the building itself is really really interesting it's very long um, so it accommodates quite a lot of shops and um, it's just very close actually to the cannon where we just were so if you do want to come to Gaul and check out maybe some different shopping opportunities this would be the place for it also just across from this Dutch hospital shopping center you have a very interesting looking abandoned building yeah I just walked over there just because I'm always interested in seeing abandoned buildings if they are not completely broken down or locked off um, I have no idea actually what happened here, if this might still be uh, tsunami damage or something like that, but I don't, I'm actually not sure. But you can see there is a sign here for stores, but on the inside obviously no roof, no nothing. Um, but it looks like this house here once upon a time was probably something very beautiful, as you can see still some uh, details around here. You see through <laughs> it's actually really really nice to walk around in here uh, now obviously it looks like some people vandalized the electricity maybe to get to the copper or something like that and then sell the metal I'd say um, but yeah this house I think once upon a time was very very beautiful kind of stumbled onto what looks like a little bit of a market <laughs> this place it's pretty cool. They have some like, um, what's this called? The tie-dye stuff? Uh, batik? I think it's, this is Batik. Batik, yeah. But it um, seems to just be basically a little place that's selling a whole bunch of souvenirs and stuff like that. Um, obviously, Gaul Fort is pretty touristy. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of the whole reason for it, I guess. But I think some of the stuff looks really nice. This stuff here kind of looks like it's handmade or something. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. All of it sort of here looks like it's a like handmade market or something like that. And yeah. uh, actually, check out this tree. This is like the main reason why I wanted to come <clears> here. Oh my God. Tree. The tree is really, really cool. Very, very epic looking tree. It's kind of overshadowing this market area as well. Gaul is definitely surprising us right now. I sort of had envisioned in my mind when it came to a fort, I thought it would be sign kind of like similar to Jaffna Fort where we were before. But Gaul Fort is much larger and there's much more happening here as well. There's actually people living inside the fort and as I said before our accommodation is inside the fort as well um, which was not the case in Jaffna fort. Jaffna sort of had a museum 
and uh, the walls and that was pretty much it. So it's really, really cool to see that there is a lot more happening around here and it's a lot larger as well uh, than the one up north. Here in Galford, it's actually really, really interesting to see that you sort of have a big mix of uh, a lot of different religions. So, for example, this place here um, sort of looks a little bit more like a Muslim type of place. Um, there are some Protestant churches. I believe they are Protestant churches because they are um, old Dutch churches here in the area as well. And then obviously you have um, some Buddhist places and if you exit Gulf Four, there are some Hindu places, um, so Hindu temples and that sort of stuff as well. So it's very, very interesting to see how all of the cultures and the religions here in the area sort of come together. All right, guys, so we made our way here to a place called the Lucky Fort Restaurant. Apparently, these guys have some pretty incredible food. We went just based off of the Google reviews. They apparently do some cooking classes as well. So we're very, very excited to give this food a try. We also got some amazing fresh lime and Sprite juice. So cheers, guys. Mm. Wow, that is super, super sharp taste. Very, very refreshing, perfect. It's a very, very hot day today. And both of us are feeling pretty hungry, guys. And um, this restaurant actually looks very, very beautiful, very unique sort of setup. And they have a whole bunch of different like garden ornaments and stuff like that around the area of the restaurant. So cannot wait to try some of this food. Ooh, there's some of the rice coming already. Bohemus to the Sri Lankan lemons. Oh, nice. Oh, they're so cute. That's actually what I wanted to say. Sweet and sour. <laughs> oh, they're sweet and sour, but look at how cute they are. They're so, so small. I'm kind of trying to squeeze the rest of this little lime <sighs> into my Sprite to make it more limey. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow, this is perfect. This is dal curry. Fried dal curry. Potatoes. Fried potatoes. And chicken curry. Nice. Beetroot curry, jackfruit curry, mango curry, and pineapple Whoa, curry. Whoa, nice. Aubergine, eggplant, star beans, mad beans, and pumpkin curry, and some chips. Some papadums. Oh, papadums. Nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stuti. Thank, Thank you. Try to make Sri Lankan way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what we got is <clears throat> we ordered for two people, it's a total of 10 curries that we can try uh, now some of them i think we already tried in other videos mm -hmm. some definitely not at least not for the video so i cannot wait to dig in as always a good sri lankan lunch or dinner starts with the rice uh, in this case this time we have white rice obviously some papadoms they cannot be missed for any food whatsoever in Sri Lanka, I feel like. And uh, the owner actually just came to us and she said, what you want to do is to mix about three curries with each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what, some of the dal curry. Let's see. What is this one? Is this one the jackfruit? Looks like jackfruit. I think. Yeah, yeah this one is the jackfruit. <laughs> going to go dal, jackfruit and some star beans. Usually the star beans are the ones that are a little bit more on the spicy side, so I would like some spicy kick in there as well. And then, with your hand obviously, go in, mix everything really, really nicely. Try not to burn your hand. <laughs> Give this thing a try. Mm. Wow. This is perfect. Now I thought that the star beans would be a little bit more on the spicy side. Hmm. In this case, it's not on the spicy side. I have to find a dish that is spicy. Rice, 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 rice. I want you in my life. <laughs> what a way to start off that cringy clip. But guys, I'm ready to load up my plate right now. We have 10 different types of curries. I, to be honest, am totally new to all of this. We have eaten plenty of it since we came to Sri Lanka, but a lot of this still looks totally alien to me. I know what dal is, and I know what these beautiful fried potatoes are. These are one of actually my favorite dishes that I've had since we came to Sri Lanka. It's basically fried potato with some chilies. Oh my God. Mm. Because I'm Irish, I really do value a good spud 
or a good potato but i'm gonna load up my plate as well guys with a couple of different options i'm gonna go for the doll first as well similar to what naomi did oh my god that potato has a kick Ooh, nice it's nice and spicy it's really good <laughs> i can mix it with my curry then i'm gonna go in for some of this stuff which i have no idea what it is but it looks very good it looks like kind of like chopped pineapple or something like that um oh some of these beans as well these beans look absolutely incredible i love anything to do with these sort of long green beans and then some of this salad which actually kind of looks like eggplant that looks absolutely perfect to me and then just exactly the way that naomi showed you guys mix it all together with your hands nice and compact just so you get a nice sort of clump of the curry and rice together and then once you've accomplished that put it in your mouth oh wow flavors absolutely incredible this food seems to be sort of very 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 authentic and homemade the woman that works here and served us the food it's very very friendly and she kindly explained how to properly mix things together oh and i have a papadam as well so i think i'm gonna scoop a nice portion of this stuff up here guys just like i did before look at that it does not get much better than this oh my god amazing Wow, you guys, the Lucky Ford restaurant, probably one of the most delicious meals that we had in Sri Lanka, especially because you have such a large choice. Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely amazing. And um, we had rice with 10 different types of curries. So <laughs> we had a lot of options, um, what we could pick and choose and mix in. And it was such a unique and very, very different sort mm -hmm. of flavor that we had. It was definitely too thumbs up 100 <laughs> percent agree the food was so so good would you mind holding this for a second yeah sure <laughs> thanks she even gave us a little fridge magnet magnet called sri lanka gaul ford as a it's like a surfboard a little surfboard for us to remember gaul ford it's so so nice um, the family in there is just so lovely as well and very heartwarming yeah yeah um out of this world experience if you do come to gaul ford and you're looking for a little bit of an authentic experience come and check the lucky ford restaurant out Lucky Ford restaurant. Keep calm and fresh fruit juice available. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that was our very first impression of the amazing Gaul Fort area and Gaul in general. As I said, we've only been here now for literally a couple of hours. And I can tell you something, this place is very special. Yeah, I'm super, super excited to be spending um, New Year's here as well. Uh, I'm sure there will be a very, very big party. Um, sort of yesterday evening we walked around a little bit and you could see that there were concerts and all of that stuff here in the area as well. So I'm sure New Year's will be big. 100% guys, but for now, my name is Luke. My name is Naomi. We are the two Mad Explorers. And this is your reminder to keep exploring. I'll see you guys in the next Sri Lankan adventure. Oma Stuti for watching. Stuti. Bye bye.